Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this bonus episode of TWR in the Italian Perspective. Now, I want to give a shout out to someone that wanted to help me pursue to go on in the focus tree. Shout out to the person from episode 4 that suggested it, which I'm doing for episode 5 right now as of this recording. But, let's see how this will go for Italy now, since it's already at its greatest extent. Will it, will it annex lands for itself while choosing a successor and also helping its puppets gain more land? Who knows, but we'll see how all this goes. Okay, so last one I started off was the private universities. The public university system in Italy leaves much to be desired with the professors being allowed to teach only what the state tells them to teach. If we allow for the establishment of private universities, Italian academia will be better off and prosper more. I would agree with that, even if I don't tend to like it. Well, depends on the people that implement it. Appease the Grand Council and appease the MSVN. Occupation of Germany With the fascist regime restore, destroyed, Germany has come under direct occupation from the United Nations. Oh good. Alright, now let's start. Trust the King. We have been approached by a potentially powerful ally. King Umberto II has offered his support to our faction of the Partido Nacional. Yeah, the crown carries with it the support of many conservatives, monarchists, and men, many of the army and navy. His support is is a godsend. The question is whoever how, whoever does this does he want in return, or however. Sorry if I said whoever. It was accidentally the slip of the tongue. Well, the U.S. is still part of the Toronto Accords, but but god damn, the U.S. Is, the USSR is back. Does this mean now I have to face? Faced the Toronto Accords and the Soviets again, and I still don't get how Poland became communist as a Marxist-Leninist. It, it just doesn't make sense. But I need more fuel. I need more Italian fuel ambitions. Oh, hold on. There we go. The team will be landing in. Oh, I forgot. There we go. I think I might have plans for Morocco. Due to recent geopolitical events, the Grand Council loyalty has decreased. Oh lord. Alright, trust the king. Support the monarchists. The monarchy was the deciding factor in the march on Rome. Saving the country from a civil war. Now it's time for the monarchy to save Italy a second time once again. We shall rally support of monarchist sympathizers from all walks of life. The people shall speak as they did back in 1922, and the monarchy shall once again be the flag to rally around. I would support that. Let's see. Moderately loyal? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There we go. I still have a low chance of a coup, but I could see, but as you can tell from the comment from the last episode, why I chose a more pragmatic view, depending on the seats in government. Siano has more influence than Balbo. I don't, I don't really understand why many people choose Balbo as a successor over Cia, over Siano. But yeah, but I think I know where they're coming from. Let's see here. Italian Central Arabia. Let's change this feeder to the Middle East. There we go. Yep, the invasion of Morocco, and I might just give them the kingdom, and I might just give Morocco to Spain as a kind of common kinship. 
Hang on. Let me... Oh, never mind then. We're gonna break the pack of steel because Germany is dead and occupied, so. <laughs> LOL. You will all wind up shining the shoes of the Germans. Balbo exclaimed once upon learning of our alliance with the Reich. Hmm. They see us as a laughing stock and as. I'm not even gonna say this word, so. I... You can read it yourself. Maybe our alliance was necessary once, but maybe not again twice. No more shall we be lapdogs to the Germans. Italy shall forge its own alliance and destiny. That is something I can get behind, even if it's like as if you're dealing with the devil. Pacification of Germany. Let's see here. I don't know why, but it feels like if I want, it feels like as if I want to go head to toe with the Toronto Accords. But I know I'm gonna ask a lot myself a lot more trouble than it's worth. And I don't get. And seriously though, I still don't get why the U.S. even declared war on Slovenia. Like, come on. The con the sen like the German Confederal U Confederal Union is in between the nearest front lines to Slovenia. Like how the hell are you, how the hell are the allies gonna even invade? And they can't invade through my lands either because I don't ha give them the rights to, nor even France, because there's they're still fascists. Like you get the idea. Who else could break the pack of steel? Clerical. Yeah, I'm not going to say that. The church remains one of the most powerful institutions in Italy. Most of our population remains Catholic. Perhaps it's time to move another meaningful discussion with the Pope. Greater cooperation between the Catholic and the PNF will further increase Balbo's legitimacy. Oh, how about this? You know, I might choose a corporation estate. Appease. I gotta keep appeasing these people, like, no matter what. And you know what? Hang on. There we go. Cheetah has capitulated. Wait, let me see this. Oh. The USSR grows stronger with each and every passing day, people. If they encroach on us, well, it's all over. Hang on, let me do one thing real quick. And here we go. Morocco. Oman. Oman and Morocco are done for. <laughs> Time to divide the spoils. Oman shall take all. Oman shall be taken by Central Arabia, and Spain will get back Morocco. Oh wait, hold on. Now Central Arabia has a coast into the Indian Ocean, and Spanish Morocco is now back, back in North Africa. Hm. I love my idea. Oh, cooperation of state has already been completed. Clerical. Yeah. And you know what? Continue the Italian the Italianization of Tyrol. In the Germans, if the Germans in Tyrol want to be part of Germany, what domestic opposition? Oh boy. If the if the 
the Germans in Tyrol want to be part of Germany, they can go live in Germany. Tyrol is Italian and shall remain so. We shall encourage firmer, Im firmer immigration to the region, strengthening Italian culture and presence. Let the Reich try to take it from us, Manofrego. Oh, as in, I don't care or don't give a... Yeah. Let's see. Wow, German resistance in Germany is at a medium. But I still don't get why they even have Aus Austria too. That's that's one big beef I have. Like, come on. At least Austria should be independent. Wow, Siano is getting more seats than ever. <laughs> I'm... Like, seriously though, I'm rooting for you, Siano. The Count is held at a high position with the PNF due to his expertise and relationship to the Deuce. Because, surprise, surprise, he is the son-in-law of Il, Il Duce, who is married to Edda Mussolini, who is Mussolini's daughter. The Count oversees the financial and diplomatic affairs of the Empire under his pragmatic ideas. He is supported by the majority of the technocrats and moderates, and moderates in his fight for the control of Italy against Balbo. Yeah, I mean, even in this way when you see about it, Bal Balbo doesn't even stand a chance as a successor. That's all I gotta say. End of discussion. Let's see here. Clerical. Alright. Now, now, now like I did, now that I dealt with Oman and Morocco, what other countries will be next on the chopping block? Oh, the Republic of Cyprus has just been puppeted? Oh. I wonder what nearby countries could... Hmm. You know, I think I just had an idea, but... I don't know. Hmm. Maybe. Time to set up another conquest in Ma Marita... I'm Mauritania, <laughs> but I'm gonna give it to Spain. Or me, maybe I don't know. Oh, Ghana and oh, Ghana could be a good future target. But uh, like, I, I gotta keep appeasing the the MSVN and the Grand Council, do I? Ah, here it is. Enforce... Alright. Promises of peace and improved worker conditions. Hmm. Rising colonial maintenance costs. However, the glorious wealth being once collected from South America cannot be found in its African colonies. Wow. I feel bad for them. New Concordat with the Vatican. The, the Lateran Treaty of 1929 was a huge step for the papacy in Italy. The Vatican was officially recognized as an independent state, while also being compensated for the territorial loss. We shall organize another meeting between the re relevant parties for a new Concordat, perhaps a lucrative idea for both parties that can be reached. Yep, yep, boys, we're almost there. Siano will be named successor in the next... 35 days time. Reintroduce the Swiss Guard. Enforce the language of Italian in Tyrol. Mm -hmm. And finally, peaceful integration in the next 69 days. Still a low chance of a coup. Both parties are loyal. Haha. <laughs> Southern Italy and mainland Italy have low unrest. But I don't get but I don't get why Sicily, Julian, Venice, and Veneto, Trento, and Bol Bolzano have medium unrest still. I don't get that. Hmm. I wonder what if I Hmm. I wonder if I can try to get Romania as well, the French state, on my side. 
and I might as well do some a bit of trickery to give Algeria back to France. Like the good colonial days. You know what? Hang on a minute. I might just do that. And voila! <laughs> Hold on. And voila! Here we go. I got the French state, part of a Mediterranean Pact. The Mediterranean Pact grows again once more in France. Now I have a border with them. The Toronto Accords and the Little Countries. <laughs> oh boy. As, the, as like they say, when one alliance falls, another one grows. But hey, maybe I'll get, maybe, but maybe this time with my different plans changed, I might as well get let the French get back their West African Federation colonies. Just like the good old days. Oh boy, here we go. Name Siano as the legal successor. Viva du Siano, the legacy of Mussolini is secured. The empire our brave soldiers fought to gain and protect has been saved. The new Roman Empire shall last a millennium beyond. Hail to the defender of Italy. I'm not saying the, the F word you see here, but you'll understand why. Woohoo! In the next 35 days time, Siano will be legally named the successor. I'm gonna name this feeder North Africa. Mm-hmm. Oh boy, lads, time for another African adventure. And I mean literally, because this time, France will be getting back its colonies and more, such as Ghana. And yeah, as an added bonus. Aw oh, man, Vitalo Garibaldi falls ill. Oh, dang. Why did it have to happen? Now I need to find a better general while he's recovering for 30 days. Vic Vittorio Ambrosio. I might as well choose him. Yes! Siano, fi we finally got there. Siano named as successor, ladies and gentlemen. Italian Dalmatia. Dalmatia was once a great insult to our fair nation. Following the Great War, Britain and France dared to give this rightful Italian territory to the fraudulent me mess that was Yugoslavia. The soldiers who fell between 1915 and 18 are smiling down for Dalmatia, for Dalmatia to return home to Italy. Couldn't have said it better, honestly. <laughs> yep. Siano has just been granted as successor of Italy. Although I'm not really sure what's gonna happen next. But maybe with a few extra invasions in the game I have planned, like for West Africa Federation and Ghana. Who knows? We'll see how it all goes. But I wish they could also let you puppet countries ma also manually, like, come on. Oh, I didn't even know I even owned this part. That's kind of weird. Say what? A greater Gottish Reich? Say what? Okay, that's just complete madness. Mm-hmm. German, German resistance has been pacified. Land ownership. Encourage Italian settlers. And finally, incorporate Zara. Three simple steps and it was done like that. <laughs> Look to the Empire. 
The new Rome is under threat. Our empire has always had a tenuous hold over its territories, but now things are com coming to a head. Separatist movements and terrorists are ramping up their attacks across our empire. We cannot lose all what we have gained. The empire must endure. We will not become another Osmandias. Wouldn't have said that also better myself. In fact, we're gonna set up another military expedition venture. And here we go. Wow. I did not expect that. Go, my pretties. Wait, hold on. French Empire will be back again once more. Under new management, that is. <laughs> now we go to the big boy obstacle, the WAF, the West African Federation. <laughs> and yes, the Mediterranean pack grows once again. And, and also, yes, I do have plans to get France's old colonies back here. Minus the exception of Vietnam, who have French Indochina and Madagascar. It's not worth the effort. Alright. Next up, I'll try to do the education in Libya focus. After just 40 years of Italian rule, our colonists on our Libyan territory have flourished and prospered, and now a new generation of Italian-born colonists are, emerg are emerging. This new generation must be taught how our empire induced brought civilization and prosperity to the desolate people. I'm not saying the inferior word because it just doesn't work. And you, and you hear that French state, since you're now in my coalition, you'll be getting your old colonies back. Hooray! Once, once the West African Federation falls to France, when I give them their land back, there's going to be cause for celebration. And we're, oh, we're already in February of 1958? That was quick. And like I said, even though Siano is now the successor, I really don't know how this will affect Italy, since I've been careful not to, like, upset the Italian balance of power. And yes, this is also re referring to the first episode I made for Italy. Because of how the triumvirate is very shaky. Because of a coup chance, and I have to secure loyalty on both sides. Let me build up extra infrastructure in my puppets, because I don't think I'm really doing any at all. Yep. Increase infrastructure. And that's going to be phase one of my plan. On to the ne- oh. I always hate it when it has to take me back to the economic part. On to the next focus. Umberto tours the empire. Unfortunately, our economic woes and poor colonial policies have led to significant problems in the various parts of Italy's empire. While a mere ceremony cannot fix such a deep issue, a tour by Umberto II, king of Italy, across our empire would surely give a boost of morale and prestige. So let's do that. 
I'm going to let Umberto tour the Empire before I go to war with the West African Federation. Because I don't know what's going to happen next. So we'll just wait it out and see how Umberto tours the Empire. And I'm also going to plan the, the Kingdom of Italy to get a little bit of expansion here in Sudan. It rightfully belongs to Egypt. Oh, I need to research more technology. I've been lagging behind. And yes, I am going to research nuclear bombs. Now let's read this. The king begins his tour. The king has begun his tour accompanied by the queen, minister of foreign affairs, Count Siano, and a multitude of other senior officials. In a speech given by the king, he emphasized that the Italian colonies were merely a part of a great family of the Italian nation, which may, which has not yet been developed and thus needs to be administered separately, and emphasizing that, um, that he was a monarch of all loyal citizens, not merely of those of any Italian peninsula. The speech was very well received in a broad and was broadcasting throughout the Empire. Following this, the king went on the railway, and yeah. Yeah, an exceptional beginning indeed. Let's see. I wonder where he'll, he'll first go. Maybe to Italian Libya? Or Italian Egypt? Italian, Italian Syria? In the Middle East? Or maybe in one of the Balkan countries? Hmm? What's this? Hans Hedtoff. Danish monarchy restored. Since the monarchies escaped from Denmark in 47, the royal family stayed in the safety of the United Kingdom alongside the Danish government in exile, while they waited for their chance to return. The kingdom returns. Let's see. The king arrives in Naples. The king arrived in Naples and was greeted by thousands of people. A specifically arranged orchestra played to him the Martial Rio, as well as that of Giovanna's. Giovanezza. The queen was offered flowers by children from one of the most elite high schools in in Napoli. Following that, the royals went to the city hall where they were received by the mayor, or or Greg, or or Gera, who who outlined to them the plans for the expansion of the city of Naples and futuristic plans regarding the construction of an underground railway within Naples. All's well going so far. Okay, so leaving Rome for Naples. I wonder where else next. Pacify the tribes. In Ethiopia. Hmm. Wait, why did Italian Tunisia and Libya turn red all of a sudden? The Mountain Republic has capitulated? Oof. Ah, so this is the French, the Frenchy focus tree. Oh, oh god, and things just got from bad, from good to worse. Disaster struck the nation only a few days ago, with the attempt of a king's life in Athens, Greece. President Con Constantinos and many senior Italian Greek officials. They were they were headed by the car. They were headed into a car to the center of Athens. The king and queen visited the, the Acropolis of Athens, and and they were, had the opportunity to admire one of the greatest products of a of a Greek or Roman civilization. They visited City Hall afterwards, the presidential residence, and an assortment of other important buildings. While walking along Er. Eremu Street, one of the most fashionable streets in Athens, disaster found them. 
A man suddenly shot one of the guards accompanying the king and attempted to shoot the king afterwards. It was even a miracle that he aimed incorrectly and the bullet hit the king on his on his body and only made light wounds as it didn't damage any organs. Oh boy. Now, and because of the hospital stay and all that, now it must be decided whether the king should go on the tour despite his wound to cancel it and return back to the throne. If I continue it, there's going to be a horrible chance that Umberto II might die or cancel it and save his life. I'm just going to cancel it. It's not going to be worth the risk. I know. Only traveling from Italy to Athens and that was it. Yeah. Not really much of a good ending for him, but a good travel for Umberto, but hey, at least he got that far. Alright, let's continue. This time, I'll start my West African Federation War. And here we are, kitties. The West Africa the West African Federation War has begun. Hang on, let me just All right, there we go. Okay, this is strange, but all right. I'll just do it by hand then. Okay, now we can try and invade. Pacify. Now we should re we should try and repay our debts or. You know what? The Mediterranean Dream. Head over down to Brez to Brazzaville. Oh goody! Now France has its old colonies back, minus Tunisia and Morocco. Just look at this fine Mediterranean pact. It'd be like it'd be like from Nintendo of America. CEO Reggie saying, hey, that's pretty good. Haha. <laughs> I think Italy, I think Italy will give France a special treat. We shall give the French Ghana. Talks with the chief. Oh, basic, oh. Well, that was quick. Time to invest in aircraft tech. Yep. A divided military? How is France even a divided military? Under the early terms of oh, under the early terms of occupation, the French army was disarmed with its personnel dismissed or placed in forceful retirement. During this time, the French state maintained a bare bones military apparatus before being able to renegotiate terms with the German authorities for a proper reformation of its military. With the sudden influx of new soldiers and officers combined with the memories of humiliation, the French military was torn apart by its ideological differences with both the pr radical pro-German fighters and crypto-revolutionaries together in the same room. Wow. I have to say, that was kind of a mouthful. Oh well, on to the next military expedition.
Ghana has capitulated. And Ghana is now part of the French Empire, reborn. <laughs> Look at this mighty fine empire. Or shall I say, mighty fine alliance. The Mediterranean Pact grows in France and has taken West African Federation to give France its old colonies back. Now that's what I say, that's the gift that keeps on giving. For France, at least. And most of the Middle East is already under Italian sphere of influence. <laughs> the Mediterranean pack is unstoppable! The Mediterranean dream. I can't even go to these other two focuses, which is kind of a bummer. Let's see. Accept European refugees from all corners of the continent. Gypsies, Jews, Democrats, Communists, and others have been hiding from the wrath of Germans for two decades, with their capture being sure to result in death or hard labor. While we initially helped our old ally with rooting them out as enemies of enemies of the country, they could potentially become useful in the future if our goal end is to ensure the destruction of Germany. Hmm. Using your enemy- using your form- I guess you can say that means the enemy of my enemy is my friend. As how Churchill would coin it. Oh. Okay, so 35 days. Alright. So this is where I'm gonna stop for now. On the 9th of September 1958. Well, I did finish the political tree and got Siano as successor, but I'm not really sure what's even going to happen. And I tested out for almost a year and nothing really happened, no civil war, no nothing. Uh, but I have been able to give back France's colonies and, and get them to join the alliance. And also invade Oman and give Morocco back to Spain. So you can see that the Mediterranean Pact is basically the, the moderate replacement for the German Axis Pact with its eastern colonies in a more friendly, moderate outlook. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. Like, share, and subscribe with friends and family, and I'll see you next time. Though I'm not really sure about uh, episode 6 by this point, because if nothing's going to happen, if Siano becomes leader, then there's no point. Unless, that is, unless. Thank you.